Yo. Okay, so welcome again. And uh, in this video, we will be um, rotating the upper parts of the body. And now the upper part of the body won't really move. But as we can see here, it has a logo. So we'll use that to simulate movement of the, the upper part of the body. Okay, so I'm just going to select the logo here. I'm going to come to frame one because I, <clears throat> I know that frame one is where <clears throat> frame one is where our animation started. Uh, and then I'm just going to click on the control point here. Just move it to the right slightly, then move it back to the left just to get that keyframe. And I'm going to click on the body to see where the second keyframe should be. And that should be on frame frame 12. So I'm going to click on the logo and I'm going to, when the face is um, facing this way, then the logo should be somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. Now notice that um, the logo is coming off of the body here. That's because we didn't um, put it onto the, the body. So I'm just going to turn off animate for a moment and I'm going to make sure that I'm on the logo and I'm going to find the uh, composite here. Click on this and click onto and that is applied onto the body. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's let me turn on back animate. And um, let me zoom in a bit. Now, I think I would like the logo to rotate a bit as well. Um, you know, it's just a stylist, stylistic choice um, to make it look a bit better. So I'm just going to go back to the front part here. Click on the rotate control point. Just move it slightly, then move it back to add a rotate keyframe. Then come here. I'm going to just rotate it slightly like so. And uh, I'm just going to move this over a bit as well. Okay, so let me run that back and see how that looks. Okay. All right, that is okay. I mean, you know, you can you could have left it straight. Um, but I like the way that looks. So I'm going to click on the body and then on to the next keyframe. So the next keyframe is on frame 24. So at this point, we are not supposed to be seeing the logo because the logo would be around the other side, which is would be on the front, right? So let me click on the logo. Click here. I'm just going to move this over to maybe here. Let me, uh, let me move back a bit just to look on, on that I'm gonna add a control point for the rotate a keyframe for the rotate control point as well I'm gonna move back here and I'm going to add a keyframe for the rotate point again um, so if I should scrub this back we see that it comes off of the body and then go back to the body um, bones and let me come down here, which is on frame 36. So when it's on frame 36, it should be coming back. We should be able to see it um, right here. So I'm going to click on the logo. And before I bring it across, I'm actually going to add a keyframe, go to my previous frame, which is frame 35. I'm going to add a um, moving keyframe, a moving control point keyframe. And I'm just going to go back to the next frame then i'm going to move it over remember we did the same thing with uh while we're working on the face um yeah i should have had it uh, um a rotate control point so let me a rotate keyframe sorry so let me put add that and then come back here so that i can rotate this like so I mean, you could move it up if you want. Um, so it, you know, stays within the, um, maybe the center of the body, but I think that is okay. This is okay for my purposes. All right, so it's there and then go back to the body and see where it ends. And it ends at frame 48. 
and let me go back to the logo and what we need to do is just well just right click the first keyframe because remember the first keyframe it's within the center here and we just we'll just duplicate and add it right there now let me save first and if i should uh press render here well preview then play it back let me see what that looks like and that looks okay to me i mean we could go in and perfect it but this is okay so we don't really need to move the body itself um the logo is here to simulate the movement of the upper body um yeah with, so we don't need to move the upper body itself all right um so yeah so in the next video we should be able to go ahead and do hopefully both the arms and the legs all at once okay one after the other so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one Yo. Yo.